This is Andy with The Chosen Prime with a quick video review of MP29 Destron Laser Wave from Takar Tomy, otherwise known as Masterpiece Shockwave. Um, as you can see, here's the figure alongside his box. Um, he does come packaged in uh, his laser pistol mode and with a bunch of accessories that I'll show off in a second. Masterpiece Shockwave here is this uh, nice purple. It's a little bit light in both video and pictures, but then when you see it in person, it's kind of a little bit warmer, a little bit darker. It definitely feels and looks like what I would assume the cartoon version of Shockwave look like. It's kind of a, a nice, uh, kind of just warm purple. Um, as far as accessories, um, he does come with several different hands. Um, here is his opaque right hand, but in addition to that, he does come with a clear version of that right hand and to replace it is simply a keyed kind of peg system. Um, here you can see this kind of shaped a certain way and so you just go ahead and plug it back on and just plugs on really easily and then you can rotate the hand and move the fingers in and out and that happens for both sides. So in addition to the clear hand you that's, that can hold the, the gun and kind of make a fist, he does come with a pet of hands here that are uh, kind of salute hands that you can be used to uh, salute like he did in that one episode and the hand can uh, bend a little bit and rotate here on this joint. If you don't like the purple, the opaque hand, you just come with a clear version of that flat hand. As far as the gun hand over here, um, by default it comes with a clear one and then here I'll show you what the battery is installed. When you push this button it pulses, there's nice purple and it pulses a couple times for a couple seconds through this uh, clear hand here. If you don't want the clear gun in hand, it does come with a lighter color. And again, it's just kind of a simple peg. And this gun actually has uh, the LED kind of built into it as well. And so when you do turn it on, it kind of glows through the plastic and you still get a nice little uh, kind of glow from uh, the LED feature. And then finally, if you want, he actually does come with a second um, right or left hand so if you don't want a gun hand on either side you have that available to you as well. So a lot of options as far as posability and options with the hands. In addition he comes with a set of stickers, um, Decepticon emblems, he comes with the, they're both different styles and he's got three um, both larger and smaller for either if you want to put them on his arms or put it on his chest it's kind of up to you how you want to do it and of course then he comes with the bio card. The final funny little accessory that he comes with is a small version of himself in gun mode and there's a certain scene uh, from the G1 cartoon where this showed up and it's kind of nice. It's actually really detailed and the wire here is actually a little piece of string so it's not going to break. And then like most masterpieces he's got this you know kind of the slot in his hand so you just kind of move it and slot it into that uh, part of the palm and close the fingers around it and uh, masterpiece shockwave can uh, oddly enough wield himself. As far as detail for Shockwave here, um, he does have a nice ball jointed head which can tilt and pivot. Um, he does have nice uh, yellow clear light piping. Here you can kind of see on the back to make this eye kind of glow um, naturally. <clears throat> he has got nice uh, range of movements, ratcheted arms, you can move up and down. Um, depending on how you want um, him posed, you can have the arms with the hose up or down. The hose is almost like uh, like almost like slinky-ish. It's a little bit of metal to it, um, and it does come uninstalled when you get the figure, and you just plug it into these two holes. But it doesn't seem to get in the way of anything, and it's kind of nice and stretchy. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. Um, he does have a rotation at the waist, as well as a basic ab crunch, and you can pivot. Um, his knees can bend quite a lot. Um, he does have moving hip skirts. His feet here have uh, a decent um, ankle tilt for different poses and they can um, rotate forward and back to kind of uh, get you some more options. As far as the light up feature, so here you can see that um, again that the, if you push this button with LEDs in this uh, arm here you can get a light up and essentially there's a battery compartment right here and you would just unscrew this screw right here and it takes two kind of watch batteries. These are LR44s and it just takes two of them to kind of get that feature to work. The other part, which is a feature, light feature when he's in uh, his uh, laser pistol mode here, um, the other battery compartment for his light feature in gun mode here is on the back. You would unscrew this screw, you kind of pull it down, there's two tabs at the top here, and then for the laser pistol light up feature you just need two AAAs um, in that spot. 
So you do have some nice options as far as the Matt Shock here with light-up features, the kind of homage to the original G1 toy. Um, since he does come packaged in his uh, laser pistol mode, that's the mode I'll go ahead and transform him into from uh, when I show the transformation sequence, so we'll go ahead and do that. Looking at Shockwave here in detail in his laser pistol mode, you can see that he looks quite nice. He looks very much like what the laser pistol from uh, G1 looked like, um, from the barrel to this nice little tube, to the kind of the handle. He does have a little clear viewfinder with a scope. He does have the working trigger, which does, if you put batteries in him, does light up the barrel to the default. Um, meth functionality is that it'll stay on as you pull it. So you can hold it as long as you want. If you do come around here, there's a slide button here on his uh, torso. If you slide it and then you pull it, the trigger again, once it'll go ahead and pulse. And it'll pulse for a couple seconds. So it kind of homages that original kind of, uh, the way that the, the original toy works. And so it'll kind of pulse for the couple seconds there. But overall, it looks uh, quite nice here in his pistol mode. So the backpack piece of the robot mode actually can be turned into a stand for his pistol mode. So all you do is you just come to the underside here and flip out the clear panel and it'll peg in to the bottom like that. And then you move this little purple flap here like this. Then you can sit it down and essentially this channel here will fit into, there's the, on the metal part here on the, the pistol, specifically there's larger nubs here. You can kind of just uh, sit them down and then he'll be able to stand here in his pistol mode, um, nice and solid, which is a nice little bonus. To the transform shockwave into his robot mode, first we come up here to the barrel and you pull out these panels here to the sides. That'll let you go ahead and take the arms and they peg together, which loosens this piece here. So you wanna go ahead and fold these pieces up like this and then the backpack will fold down and temporarily fold into his back like that. You want to come back to the viewfinder here, fold it forward, and then fold it forward again, and it'll peg down onto his back like that. Go ahead and slide the arms out, move them to the sides. His head here is on kind of just like a little spring, so just kind of pull it, grab hold of his ears, and his head will kind of come up here on this panel. It's just on a little ball joint. We come back here to these panels here, and you want to go ahead and pull them apart to the side. There is a peg. I'm holding them together down here. So you kind of want to just pull them apart and slide it back like this. And you want to do that for both. We're going to come down to the legs here, and these little pegs here, which hold it together on the back of his legs, so you want to just kind of pull those down. You should now be able to go ahead and unpeg his uh, legs from the torso here. Go ahead and lift up the side skirts on both sides. Take both legs and split them in half. And you can see how this kind of works. There's a little hinge here. And what you want to do, well, first we want to go ahead and pull out this part of the leg here. So we we'll go ahead and take the foot panel here and rotate it forward like that. Then inside here, you want to go ahead and lift out and fold out and kind of straighten out and this will make the bottom half of his leg like here. And then you can take the leg here and fold it back onto itself, bend the knee, go ahead and rotate this panel so that the hollow part will go into the leg like this and just kind of peg it into the leg. And that's how that leg goes. So go ahead and we'll do the other leg here real quick. So come to the foot and go ahead and rotate it downward so that you have the foot facing down like this. Come into here, fold this out so you see it here, and then fold it down. And I'll make part of his leg. And there's actually a peg to peg that panel into the foot. Like so. Then you want to come and again fold the leg back onto itself, straighten it out, and then make sure that the hollow part fits facing forward on the leg and slide it down and it'll, there's a peg hole on the outside of this leg and peg here to kind of make the legs. And there is the bottom half ready to go. We can come to his back and fold this all the way back to his backside. And we won't peg it in yet 
because we'll put the the outer part in real fast or real quick. Go ahead and pull up his head where his trigger was. You want to go ahead and slide the trigger up and then using your fingernail kind of pull down on this little ab cover here. And he actually does have a part that you might miss. You want to go ahead and pull up to get him and he gets his ab crunch and he gets a bit of rotation there for the waist. Come back to the backpack here and these panels actually they hinge this way and kind of collapse on themselves. So go ahead and pull them up like that. And by the, you and then go you then you can go ahead and you can see there's two pegs holes here and pegs on the back of the back that by default he pegs in this way and the backpack secures that way. Now the arms depending on how you whether you want the hose here on the underside or or the up, uh, on the top it's up to you. you just take and you can rotate it and you actually can do it with both arms and there's different detailing on both sides like this side's got that kind of detailing and if you rotate it around you have uh, that kind of detailing but by default um, this is the way it's intended with this with the hose on on the bottom and the button for the gun here arm on the outside and then vice versa you kind of want the uh, the simpler design here on this arm but it's again it's personal preference you take the hand and go ahead and rotate it and there is shockwave in his basic robot mode. So this is the default configuration um, without the extra backpack. Here you can see that the cannon kind of collapses down to a really uh, kind of minimal backpack overall. Um, it does not hinder his rota gross race rotation at all. Um, he still has access to that because it's still just attached to the upper part of the body. If you do want to install the backpack, what you want to do is go ahead and lift it up on this hinge this way. And then you take the stand and you want to make it so that um, you're kind of sitting this way. Push the clear piece in the back through this way, kind of close it down onto the backpack. And if you actually look, the, uh, there's like a little groove here in the clear plastic here that the, this purple kind of hinge will uh, kind of fit into. So if you kind of get it all installed and slid on correctly. It'll fit uh, nice and secure. And then again, these two peg holes on his back will match the pegs on the backpack. And now he's got a little bit more cohesive uh, and complete full purple backpack, if you so choose. Doesn't really uh, affect um, the profile from the front, but it kind of does clean up that uh, kind of hollowness of just the cannon kind of folding up onto his back. Go ahead and compare some different masterpiece shockwaves here. Here's the official Takar Tomy Destron laser wave. Here is Fans Toys FT-03, or their very first attempt at Master Shockwave, a Quake Wave. This is the original release in the kind of this medium purple. And this is FT-03T, or the toy colors version of Quake Wave, to homage the original uh, G1 toy kind of darker colors. So you see there's a nice range of purples here. Uh, Laser Wave, as you can see, is slightly smaller and definitely more uh, kind of slim compared to Quake Wave. Um, looks a lot more accurate to what the cartoon looked like, um, kind of nice and thin. Um, you do get die cast in the Quake Waves um, here in the feet and the legs, whereas you don't you don't get that um, here in Laser Wave. You can see that roughly they have kind of the same kind of styling as far as the backpack. Um, you do get a bit more posability out of the Quake Waves than you do the official one, but then again, you want if you want more animation accuracy, that's kind of where uh, Laser Wave kind of comes into play. To show off some of the light up features, comparing light up features, um, Quake Wave does have the ability to have uh, a light up eye hair in his head, as well as a light up gun. Um, both of them are in switches. Um, Quake uh, Laser Wave here um, only has light piping for the eye, which is still pretty striking. And as far as the gun, it does have the ability that uh, with uh, the button here, you can hold it down and you can see that it pulses. And it's a bit nicer purple than this kind of reddish, the purple here. Um, you can see roughly they have the same kind of posability, but you do get just a little bit more emotion out of Quake Wave. Uh, you know, things like posable fingers, comparing the three shock waves in their laser pistol modes. Again, this is the toy version of Quake Wave, the original release of Quake Wave, and the official Takara one. Um, as you can see, the uh, Takara one does come with a stand to be able to hold up the can pistol here in uh, upright mode for display, which is a lot nicer than what it does with Quake Wave. With Quake Wave, you kind of either have to tilt it down or buy a uh, custom stand for him. 
So if you're looking to display him in laser pistol mode, I think uh, the official one is uh, better. Um, but overall, you can kind of see styling wise, they are roughly the same. Comparing the, the two in laser pistol side by side, you can see that Quake Wave and um, Shockwave here are roughly the same size. Shockwave does have a larger barrel at the tip um, than Quake Wave. Um, Quake Wave is a bit heavier because he's got die cast here in the legs. Whereas uh, the Shockwave one is a bit lighter, but it kind of feels a little bit better in hand. Shockwave, of course, comes with a trigger, actual working trigger, which triggers the lights. Whereas, uh, you know, on Quake Wave, it's a switch on the hand. So um, here you can see that uh, Quake Wave is red, whereas when you light up and trigger a uh, Shockwave here, it's purple. And you, of course, you have that pulsing feature if you want. So I think overall, they both look really good as uh, homages to. Uh, Shockwave, but I would say that uh, the official one kind of feels a little bit better in hand overall. Comparing Masterpiece Shockwave here with some other Masterpiece Decepticons, uh, Destron Laser Wave here is the same height here as uh, Masterpiece Starscream, and he's only slightly smaller than Masterpiece Soundwave, but overall looks amazing in your uh, Masterpiece Decepticons here. He really stylistically looks the part um, as an homage to G1 Shockwave, and just uh, this is an extra, excellent release here from Takara Tomy. Some final thoughts here on Masterpiece Shockwave. Um, of the available Masterpiece Shockwaves, um, this official one from Takara Tomy, the Destron Laser Wave is the most cartoon accurate, uh, considerably. Um, he's still a very solid release um, from his uh, joints to the plastic kind of quality and overall kinds of details. Um, this version of Shockwave is really excellent. Um, Shockwave is currently available from the Chosen Prime, and I recommend them, so take care.